Hey, what's going on you guys? Mark here, back to you with another video. If you guys are wondering why I look kind of groggy and probably kind of dead, that's because I just got up. <laughs> it's just past 10 a.m. now, and guys, like, I know this is late for some of you, but like, as you guys know, I'm a big time night owl, like big time night owl, and this is like my equivalent of like you guys getting up at like 4 or 5 a.m. Like, this is early for me. <laughs> But I'm up for good reason. It's because today me and my brother Eric are going on a little bit of a day trip. We're going up to our cottage to just see a bit of the fall colors for the day. But also my brother Eric loves tea. Like he's a huge tea fanatic. And there's this natural spring up there that has some really freaking good water. Like I will admit, it's so freaking good. And he has to replenish a few of his socks before winter. Because um, he like carries it back in these giant like glass cases basically. So we're going to go up there and do two missions. Just for fun, we're both off today and um, I need to be up early on Monday anyways because there's an election happening nearby in my city and I'm actually working for the election so I need to be up at this ungodly hour on Monday I think like 7 30 in the morning <laughs> so either way I needed to like start fixing my sleep cycle anyways so I figured this was a good way to do it just get up early today go on this adventure and just maintain the sleep cycle after this and yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing and yeah I decided for this week's video I wanted to do another vlog because I did this random spontaneous 3 a.m. walk vlog about two or three weeks ago and you guys actually really liked it and I really like vlogging too so I figure I should maybe like try doing this like once a month or something like and mix it up with my other videos so um, let me know if that's something you guys would enjoy in the comments below I'd be happy to do a vlog every once in a while for you guys uh, my life really isn't that exciting so I don't know how much like exciting content you'd get but like yeah, I'd be happy to vlog every once in a while. Another thing I'm going to try doing at the cottage is I'm going to bring this pumpkin with me that I carved a few nights ago um, to try and do this photo shoot idea I have for Halloween. You guys will have to wait and see what... Uh, you guys are going to have to wait and see what the uh, what my final idea is going to be. I'm going to post it probably on Halloween, but it involves a jack-o'-lantern. That's shocking, right? Like a Halloween picture with a jack-o'-lantern? Like, who would have thought? But I'm kind of annoyed because if you guys have carved pumpkins, you know that they mold, like after a few days. So just as a preventative, I decided to put it outside because it's kind of cold here in Canada now. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just put it outside in the cold and it won't mold. So I put it out in the cold and then the next day I go out to get it and I find a bunch of lovely bite marks all over this freaking pumpkin. Freaking squirrels. And those of you without watch that live in Australia, I'd be so thankful those little things don't live on your continent. I don't think squirrels are in Australia. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, be so thankful you don't live with them. They are awful. They will eat anything. And if they don't eat it, they will still bite into it to see if they're interested. Like, they are so stupid. Like, growing tomatoes with squirrels around is the worst thing because they will bite them off while they're still green, thinking it's like a nut or something. And then they're like, oh, don't like this. So you just find dead tomatoes all over your property. And it's like... Uh, I hate them so much. But anyways, yeah, I got my comfy road trip gear on, got my sweatpants, my hoodie. I mean, you don't really need to look glamorous going on road trips, so I'm heeding that rule. I mean, it's not like anyone's going to see me or anything. So, anyways, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to go inside, grab a bit of my stuff, and we're going to hit the road. So, let's go. Okay, so the road trip has begun. This is my brother Eric, by the way, sipping tea like usual. <laughs> He's been in the background of a few videos, but I don't think I've formally ever introduced him. So this is Eric. He turns 30 in a few days, so wish him a happy birthday. But anyways, we started the road trip. Um, and I just wanted to turn on the camera because we are about to drive by Canada's Wonderland. So, ooh, shadowy. So anyways, let me show you guys quickly. Okay, this is cool. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a new ride being built, like right there. It's like a half complete lift hill. Whoa, they've built like a lot more of it. Uh, excuse me, out the way, dude. <laughs> they've built a lot more of it since we were there last. Cool. So we're really looking forward to that new roller coaster. We actually got season passes to go next year, which I'm really excited about. Those are always good, so we can go anytime we want. Um, so we'll be going there quite a few times next year. But anyways, the ride's going well, traffic's going well. We actually brought our winter coats with us because there's a chance we might actually see snow up there. So this kind of gives you an idea of what living in Canada is like. Last week, we were actually wearing t-shirts earlier in the week because it was actually hot. And a week later, we're wearing coats because it might we might ride into snow. So never a dull day in Canada. But anyways, we're going to continue this drive and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so it's a little bit later and we've made it to the spring. That's it down there. Those are the two things we're filling up. Yeah, the spring water is really good. We've gone here a few times and it tastes like so fresh. If you guys have had Fiji water, it tastes very close to that, but even better if you can believe it. <laughs> I'm one of those people that likes Fiji water. I think it tastes so good and pure. But this stuff tastes like 
even better than that. So anyways, we're gonna fill these up and then it's another hour drive to the cottage and we're gonna stay there for probably like two or three hours. We're gonna have dinner with my aunt who's up there right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see a few colors, but I think that a lot of them have been blown off the trees. So we might be a little late, but still, whatever. Anyways, I gotta go help fill these up. <laughs> All right, so we made it. Hopefully the wind's not screwing up the audio. I'm wearing my winter coat for the first time this year, pretty much. But um, we made it. There's the lake. We're just admiring it right now. <laughs> Our cottage is like in the woods that way, but there's like this little walkway you can come to. If you guys remember last year, actually, my um, I filmed a uh, horror movie. Like, what did I call it? Uh, what horror movie was it? Like, there's something like that. I'll link it below, but I filmed like a lot of those woods scenes right there. So a little behind the scenes for you, but. Where am I pointing? Right there, for my channel. So there's that, just heading back through the woods to the cottage. But um, about the pumpkin photo show I told you guys about, I'm actually not gonna do that because I forgot to bring the pair of pants I wanted to wear for the photo and it's like important for my aesthetic, you guys know. So uh, I'm just gonna do that back home. So essentially this pumpkin just came up with us for a trip. <laughs> so it's just gonna sit in the car and yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, yeah, anyways, this is where I filmed those scenes from my horror movie video last year. Just in case my pointing wasn't clear enough. <laughs> but anyways, back to the cottage. Okay, I'm just sitting in this little like bench thing we have set up. And I am so cold. Like, I had it to come on. I'm freezing. Like, I cannot believe that a month and a bit ago, I was sitting like standing right there in the water, swimming and taking pictures for my Instagram. Like... Again, go follow me on Instagram, Mark Marshall with three L's because the person with two L's doesn't post and has the nickname or has the username, so that sucks. But yeah, I did like a smoke bomb picture from my Instagram right over there and like, I can't imagine, like right now I'm frozen, like I don't even want any water touching me. Doesn't this truck kind of look like a horror movie, like there's just be like some killer hiding in there or something? Like I always think that anytime I come up here, this truck has been abandoned there for as long as I can remember. But uh, just on a walk right now, I'm going down the lane with my cottage. I'm walking my aunt's dog Chip, so I won't show you right now because he's in the middle of uh, of uh, you know having a moment. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, why are you looking at me during my moment? You know, Chips, that's a good question. Um, there he is, looking at him. Oh, 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 moment number two. Okay, we're, we're gonna give you your privacy, all right? You good? Oh, oh. <laughs> He's in a playful mood right now. <laughs> there he goes, off he goes. Ah! He is so lazy. We're supposed to go like another like 300 meters. And look at him, he's running right back to our cottage. You are so lazy. All right, well, I guess that's the end of that. Okay, so I went out for a very quick little kayak ride while we were here, just to go see what the sky looks like and hopefully the light will focus. Look at that. It's almost like a cartoon. But I'm gonna head back because it's freaking freezing out here. <laughs> like, I'm so cold. But, um, anyways, it's pretty much time to head back to the We've been here for about three hours. And, um, maybe around four hours. And, yeah, I'm drifting back to shore because the wind is actually kind of strong here. But uh, next time I'll see you, it's probably gonna be back home after our adventurous day of driving. So, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Look at Danzo. She's like you're home finally. Hey kitty. Come here. Be in the vlog. Oh Yes, look at that. She loves this She loves it, but anyways, we're back home now. I'm um, super easy drive back home like super easy No traffic at all actually no traffic today at all. So we got pretty lucky, but yeah It's been about three hours since the last clip and now we're back home. It was a pretty long but pretty good day. I mean, we did everything we wanted to. We got the spring water, we visited the cottage for a bit, saw my aunt, walked her dog. Yeah, we did what we wanted to do and then some. So, thank you guys for watching this vlog and joining me on today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know. Um, I'm always something I want to ask you guys when I do vlogs. I guess I'll ask you guys the same thing I asked the last time. Did you guys have a good day? Anything new? Anything fun happening that you want to share in the comments and want to tell me about? Let me know in the comments below. As always, be sure to share this video with anyone who you think would enjoy it. It's always such a tongue twister for me to say that and I have no idea why. But you guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links for that are down below. And at eight, see, tongue twister, and at the end of this video. <laughs>
And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single Friday and you don't want to miss it. So hit that subscribe button right down below. Um, and next week's video should be fun. I have a fun trick or treat Halloween themed video planned that I'm excited about. I've been wanting to do it for the past couple of years and I'm finally doing it this year. So you guys don't want to miss that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next Friday for another brand new video. Bye.